Hello everybody, welcome back to another one of my videos. This is going to be a pretty short uh, video game review. A game just launched here on Steam called Bad Caterpillar. And this looks like a lot like a game, like an old school arcade game that I used to like. Uh, I didn't play a ton of it, but uh, Centipede. Uh, a lot of you guys might remember Centipede from back in the day. The cool thing is this game launched and it has full controller support. Uh, you can play with a mouse or a keyboard. And the game, guys, is on sale for 89 cents right now. Uh, regular, only 99 cents. So you get a dime off. But the main question I want to answer today is, is this any good? Is this game any good? So we're going to go ahead and check this out, guys. And let me go ahead and launch the game. And I will get this started and give you guys my thoughts, my review. Let me uh, tell you guys if I think... Bad Caterpillar, just launching today on Steam, is worth your 99 cents. So give me just a second here. Let me go ahead and grab the YouTube ID so we can get a... Mm -hmm. Correct number of viewers showing on the screen. How's everybody doing today? Right. My son is in the background playing with his uh, son. I mean, playing with his son, playing with his friend. Grief. My son. All right. There we go. We should have the correct number of viewers showing on the screen now. Let me launch this game, guys. Moises, how you doing, uh, Rip? And Foxy is here. Emily's here. Welcome, everybody. Uh, Herman, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. I don't think I've ever seen you here. All right, looks like uh, super fast shots. Move, move up, right down. Press enter or A. Okay. All right, guys, um, is the music too loud? Let's turn the music down a little bit. There we go. All right. Okay, let me um, make sure you guys can see this crap. We are on the title screen now, hang on. No, OBS, don't do this to me. Do not do this to me. Huh. Hang on, guys. There we go. Come on. There we go. All right. Sometimes OBS is a little bit tricky with different games on making sure that it's up and working. All right. I think you guys can see this. When you launch the game, this is what you see. And, um, yeah. So we got high scores. Uh, not connected to Steam. Can't load high scores, okay? Options. You got sound volume. You got music volume. You got full screen off or on. You got dead zone. Okay. Credits. Uh... We've got a couple of people here that have made this pizza being delicious. It looks like they've made a lot of ate a lot of pizza making this game. All right, let's go ahead and jump in, guys. Um, I can be a champ, a speed four, weapon capacity four, initial bombs one, and max bombs three. Okay. Let's just go with the first one. Um, I'm going to play with a mouse. Time to light the tires and kick the fires. Normal attack, firebomb is B. Okay, I like how it's automatically firing. Hang on, guys. Let me turn the... Let me turn my music down a little bit. Okay. Okay, so we completed that level already. Now we do have B we can use for a 
It doesn't look like you can customize the the controls at all. Oh man, I got hit by a spider. The movement is really good with just a mouse. I mean, why do you need a, a controller or anything? You don't need a controller. Mad time. This is fast and furious action. I kind of like this. Slowed everything down with a power up that I caught. Tells you how many shots you fired, how many shots hit. Oh wow. Okay. This is pretty cool. I mean, it, it's very easy to move around with a mouse. It's very responsive. And I like how fast everything moves. Kind of reminds me of the old school arcade centipede. Not the one that you played at home on like a, a video game system because those didn't move this this good. Trying to move your little uh, ship around with a one of those old school joysticks or whatever was a lot harder than this is. This is a lot easier to move around with a mouse for sure. Yeah, you don't need a key. You don't need a controller to play this. Not at all. Let's go ahead and try one of our bombs, shall we? What does a bomb do? Hmm, didn't work. B. Oh, you have to hold it down. I think. Boom! 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 boom. Almost there. Got it. So basically all you're trying to do is destroy the whole worm before it um, gets down to you. And if it gets down to you under that dotted line, it becomes a threat because it can hit your ship and kill you. I like the auto fire though. And if I want to turn the firing off, I can always just hit space, I believe. Mm. I thought you could hit space. I thought I did it once. No, I don't know. Oh, it's mouse button. Left mouse button. All right. A bomb is the right mouse button, which you would just like you would think. So it's all in the mouse if you choose a mouse. No keyboard controls. I played this game for a few seconds before I actually, um, or a couple of minutes before I actually started streaming to test it out and make sure it was all working. And for whatever reason, when I played it then, it was a space to uh, shoot, turn shooting on and off, and the B button to shoot, fire a, um... whoa, no, a bomb. But now it's all in the mouse. Left mouse button turns your firing on and off. And right mouse button drops a bomb if you have one. But you, as you see at the top, I don't have a bomb. Really easy. This is pretty fun. Not a bad game. Not a bad game. I mean, I don't think this is a game you're going to set and play 100 hours. But especially if you like these old kind of arcade uh, style shooters. Yeah, I, I see no problem with this game. I don't know if any of you guys played Centipede. How many of you guys have played the original Centipede in one form or another? Uh, maybe on a classic, you know, compilation on the PlayStation or Nintendo or something, or maybe on the old school gaming systems. Um, how you doing, Rip? How's it going, uh, Lita? How's it? Welcome back. Moises, always good to see you. Jazz Miner, always good to see you. Hard work pays off. Resume game. So, have no, does this not look familiar to a lot of you people that may have not played uh, Centipede? The old school Centipede? All these power ups. Wow. Wow, look at the, look how fast those things are like. Dead birds are dropping on me. Like, damn. Alright. Bug on. Oh, no! That stupid bug came up and got me. It, like, targeted me. That's cool. Man, it gets pretty hard pretty quick.
Yeah, I'm liking this. Oh, it got me again. No. I don't know why the game shows my cursor on the screen. It should make my cursor disappear. Yeah, I don't know why it shows my cursor to the top, uh, to the right and above my ship, but that's a little bit weird. I mean, it doesn't affect the gameplay at all, but... Oh, I froze everything. That's cool. This game has a lot more power-ups and everything than the original Centipede ever had. Which is cool. But it plays and it reminds me so much of the old school Centipede. Oh, now I got now I got multiple bullets. That's awesome. Dung beetle level complete. Oh, come on. The only thing I I I could complain about is that you know, there is no in-game settings for, you know, your mouse sensitivity or resolution or anything like that. There is uh, simply only sound uh, levels, sound and music levels, and, and things like that. There's no, no real control over mouse sensitivity or... Uh, resolution or anything like that. You got a full screen on and off. You got music and sound effects, volumes, and that's it, pretty much. Look at this gun I got, though. Damn, dude. This gun is like potent as shit. Wow. Got it. Yeah, this is a fun game. I can't lie. This is a fun game, guys. It's been so long since I've played the old school uh, centipede. But I like these falling birds, how fast they fall. I like the how it gets harder and like bugs will crawl around down where your ship is at and target you and try to kill you. Pretty sweet. They need to get the online scoring fixed. It doesn't look like they got online scoring working for whatever reason. Oh, you can get under those birds and, and shoot them for extra points. You gotta be quick, though. These spiders remind me of the old school spiders from Centipede. For sure. Yeah, that was a fun game. Hey, Mash Stars, how you doing? This is actually a, a remake of, like, Centipede Mash Stars. Not Space Invaders, but Centipede. And game over. Lost my last, my last ship there. So, new game or quit game. So, if we go to quit game here... I do like that it has full controller support if you did want to play with a controller. Um, for whatever reason, I mean, this game is not connected to Steam. Let's go ahead and back out of this. I wonder if I reconnect to Steam, if suddenly it'll start getting fetching the high scores. All right. I don't think that... Um, we'll go ahead and exit. Let me log out of Steam, guys, real quick, and log back into Steam and see if the game can suddenly start fetching the high scores. Just curious. Again, I can't tell you guys, I can't overemphasize if you're having any kind of weird problems with any Steam game, any kind of weird problems, I don't care what it is, uh, logging out of Steam and logging back in, more often than not, seems to fix it. I don't know if it's going to fix this problem or not, but it's worth a shot. How you doing, Mash? Team Bex? Yeah. But I like it. I, when I when I bought it, I mean, it was less than a dollar. 
I was like, I wasn't expecting it to be quite so fun, but it, it actually, I like the, uh, I like the response. I like the mobility with the mouse button. I like the fact that I don't have to plug in a controller and get, like, all I have is a DualShock 4 for my PS4. Then I'd have to start, uh, Input Mapper, another program that basically turns my PS4 controllers into an Xbox controller. So I like that I don't have to launch Input Mapper uh, and, you know, plug in a controller and all that into my computer just to play that little game. I lo love that I can just use a mouse and it works just great. So let me go ahead and launch the game again. L I'm just curious if it will launch the high scores. If it doesn't, I mean, the first time to post on the Steam forums to the developers so they can get that fixed. Tells you all the different scores you get for all the different and all what all the power-ups are. That's awesome. Alright. Enter. High scores. Looks like it's trying to load now. I didn't get the error message. See, the, again, guys. Right there. That That goes to show you I can't overemphasize when you're playing Steam games of any kind and you're having any kind of a weird issue. In this situation, it, was, it wasn't it was loading the high scores. Now, this game just launched today, and there's already crazy high scores, as you can see. But at least you do have the ability to try to compete with your friends on Steam, compete with me on Steam, compete with other users on Steam, and try to get the high score in this game. Uh, I like that. And it looks like it keeps the top high eight scores it's not showing my name here now maybe if i actually beat one of these scores maybe it'll show up uh, One hundred and fourteen thousand is the highest score right now uh the lowest score is 420 hopefully we can beat that let's go ahead and play one more time guys and uh let's go ahead and score this game while we're at it give you guys my scoring based i score all steam games the same uh value being the most important and critical score of any game that you buy because i think it's important that you get what you pay for in any game, whether it's an old school game like this or whether you're buying, you know, spending 60 bucks on No Man's Sky, whatever it is, uh, do you get your money's worth? So let's jump in here again. Let's go ahead and just take the same guy again. I'm going to play with the mouse. All right. And I'm, to make those choices, I am using WASD and space as an enter button. And now it's all in my, now it's all in my mouse. I can turn off, turn on and off the shooting with the left mouse button. I can drop a bomb with the right mouse button. Not hard. All right. Well, I've already beat the, the I've already beaten the eighth highest score, so I should already be in the high score list. Yep. Yeah, it says achievement unlocked. It's a start. I don't think it was showing my achievements. Achievement unlocked. Kill scorpion. Yeah. I don't think it was uh, showing all my achievements because I hadn't logged out of Steam and logged back in. Now everything is working properly it looks like yeah this is a fun game this is more fun than i thought it'd be to be honest with you like i say the problems that i had with the old uh centipede game playing at home on like the atari you know 2600 or the commodore 64 or whatever was that it was so freaking hard to play the game because the centipede moved so fast and it was so hard to move your ship fast enough with those old joysticks um no problem getting where you need to go to shoot what you need to shoot in this game with the mouse mobility here. Fantastic, uh, fantastic remake of an old school favorite arcade classic game that used to be really popular. I don't even know who made it, whether it was Namco or Atari or who, but sorry I didn't research that information, but yeah, Centipede used to be a really big game back in the early 80s. And this game, this developer did a fantastic job Look at these bullets. They're all like weird. Like, wow. Got some kind of a glitchy. I mean, this is part of the game. It's some kind of power up or negative power up I hit or something. All right. I like how the guy up there talks to you. Hard work pays off. This is so weird. Kill roly poly achievement unlocked. Now I'm going back to normal bullets here. This is fun. I can't lie, guys. This is actually a lot of fun. Again, I don't know that you're going to sit and play this game for 50 or 100 hours, but over time, I think you're definitely going to get your money's worth, guys. Um, again, 100 and something thousand points is the highest score on Steam again. But again, this game just came out not even that many, not even that long ago. Just launched today on Steam. 
It's less than a buck, guys. The link is in the description if you want to go grab it. Um, but I'm fixing to score it here. Crap. And this is the problem you got once these... Uh, one, let's see if this does this, because I remember the old school centipede. Once the guy gets down to the bottom, it started multiplying. I don't know why he's not multiplying. The old school... Oh, wow, look at all the spiders coming into play now, though. Is it going to start multiplying? Because I remember the old school centipede. Once it got down close to you, it started, like, multiplying itself. And it would start, like, growing and stuff. I don't know that this game does that. I might have earned an extra life. It looks like I have three triangles up at the top right. Definitely gets harder quick. Mad time. I don't know what mad time is. Split. 22,000. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and score this game and try to give this game a score based on how I always score every game that I buy on Steam and let you guys know if I think it's worth your money. See if you guys agree with my scores as well. Since you're in the live stream, I'm not looking at the chat. But every game that I score, the most important uh, aspect of any game that I buy on Steam, like I say, whether it's a dollar game like this or whether it's a $20 game like Dead by Daylight or whatever, I look at it and based on my first initial response, I try to estimate, is it worth your money? Do I think you're going to get the value for what you're paying? This game's under a buck, guys. Um, and to get a good value score, in my opinion, you really need to be able to play a game for at least as many hours as you spend in dollars on the game. This game's one buck. So to get a good value score, you need to play this game over time more than an hour. If you can play this game more than an hour uh, over time, I think you're getting a good value score. And I think that I think that a lot of people that like these old school arcade games that maybe have grown up with games like Centipede in the past... Or that are just looking for a really fun game, you know, kind of a casual game to drop some time. Uh, you know, you don't have to be an old hoagie like me to enjoy a game like this. This game's a lot of fun. Uh, so I think pretty much anybody here is going to be able to get a good value score and play this game more than an hour. So value score is through the roof on this one. I think the developer could have asked for more money on this one and got it. Uh, I think he undersold himself here. Value, 40 out of 40. All day long, this game is way up there on the value. Next criteria for any game that I, I grade is worth 30 points. Not quite as much, but it's basically how much fun is the game. I'm not worried about graphics. Not worried about all that stuff right now. I'm worried about how much fun is the game. It's worth 30 total points. And again, it kind of goes along with the value. you know. But uh, it fun really doesn't take into consideration how much you paid for it. It's just overall, how fun is the game? I don't care what you paid for it. Is the game fun? This game is fun. This game delivers. It's it's a different kind of fun than like something like Dead by Daylight. But this game is a lot of fun to be had. It's a different kind of uh, arcade action. It's definitely a faster, more relentless kind of action. But at the same time, it's kind of a really casual game. It's a game that you can pick up and play a full game in, you know, 10, 15 minutes or whatever. Um, and you don't have to worry about trolls, you know, online trolls and all the online games. Uh, it's just a single player, you know, have some arcade fun kind of game. And... I think it delivers on the fun score as well. Um, again, it doesn't consider price or anything like that, so you just got to take it for what it is, how much fun is the game. I think the game's quite a bit of fun. I mean, it's not the most fun game I've ever played, but it definitely delivers on the fun. I'm going to go ahead and give this game a 22 out of 30 in fun. So right now, uh, we got 40 out of 40 for value. We got 22 out of 30 for fun. Next important criteria is controls and bugs. All right, while I haven't plugged in a controller to this game, guys, I'm, I'm telling you, you don't need to plug in a controller. I'm not even going to test that because playing with a mouse is super easy. It, is, it might even be your best way to play. It's probably easier to play with a mouse than it is even with a controller. I would guess it's way easier playing with a mouse than a controller, but you do have the controller or a keyboard option should you prefer that. Uh, I'm just going to base the score based on my uh, mouse play, and with my mouse... The controls and bugs are seem flawless. Um, I am going to go ahead because I haven't taken any points away for no kind of options or uh, as far as resolution options or you know mouse sensitivity options that kind of stuff. I am going to go ahead and take some points away from this game in this uh, in this scoring aspect, and this is where I'm going to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and take away four points 
from my uh, controls and bugs because there's no controls uh, on things like mouse sensitivity and resolution and stuff like that. So I'm going to hit this game a little bit right there. So you come up with a score of 16 uh, out of 24 controls and bugs. And the last criteria is graphics and sound. It's worth 10 points. How good are the graphics and sound? Sound is not that impressive, but I mean, it's what you would expect from an, uh, a game like this. Uh, graphics are plenty good for a game like this, but they're not, you know, they're definitely not 3D. They're nothing, you know, that's going to awe people nowadays. Uh, graphics and sound, I'm going to go ahead and give it an average score here. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and it, it's just they didn't spend a ton of time making anything too flashy. You don't need that. I think I'm just going to go ahead and score it middle of the road here, guys. I'm going to go 5 out of 10 for graphics and sound. So, if you add that all up, 40 out of 40, 22 for fun out of 30, at 62, and then 16 for controls and bugs is 78, and then 5 out of 10 for graphics and sound. You wind up with a score, overall score. My score is an 83%. 83% score, guys, for uh, Bad Caterpillar. I think this game is worth it, though. It's under a buck, guys. It's a lot of fun. I, I don't see anybody going wrong with this game on Steam. Uh, I think it's a fantastic little arcade action game. So this has been my review, my first play of Bad Caterpillar. Uh, amazing, uh, Amazingly fun little game for under a buck. One of the rare games that you can spend... Uh, or you can play for under a buck on Steam and definitely get your money's worth and have a lot of fun. So, yeah, it is pretty fun. Uh, I like it. 83% is my score, and it's only knocked down by a few uh, smaller aspects, things like graphics and sound, you know, because the graphics aren't through the roof uh, like, you know, you would expect out of games uh, like so many people are used to today. Uh, and things like no resolution settings, no mouse sensitivity, and stuff like that in the game. If it had that kind of stuff, the game would score higher. But an 83% is a very respectable score on a game that just launched today that you can get for under a buck. All right, guys, be sure you leave your comments down below. Um, Caitlin, this is an awesome game. The link is in the description. Definitely uh, check it out. Uh, it's only 89 cents right now in American currency, and it's a lot of fun. So let me go ahead and go back here, guys. New game, quit game. Let's see if our score registered in the high score list. Because... Oops. You guys can try to beat my score if it did. It should... Re yep, there I go. I'm number six, guys, right now. In my first play, I registered on the high score list. It looks like it keeps the top ten. When I looked at it before, uh, there wasn't enough scores. So I, I have the ninth score. Because there was only eight before. And now my score registered. Zaxter99 YouTube. My Whatever your Steam name is, is going to be here. And you can compete with me. You can compete with your friends on Steam and try to have the uh, highest score ever. So I'll tell you what, guys. I am going to be playing this game some more, probably offline. I don't think this is a great game to stream. I don't think a ton of people would enjoy watching this. But I'm going to definitely be playing this game. I'm going to try to hit this high score. Uh, it's only 134,000 right now. I just got to get twice as many points I did. I don't think that's going to be actually that hard. I challenge you guys. If this game looks nice to you. Go buy the game. Try to beat my high score. Try to beat the number one high score. Um, it's really uh, moves really great with a mouse, and uh, it's an awesome game. Eighty-three percent again is my score, guys. I want to go and thank you guys for watching. I will be back tonight. I have family coming over for dinner and things like that, so I've got some stuff to do. But I'll be back tonight with more uh, indie gameplay, probably more Dead by Daylight, as we try to save up a few more points for Michael Myers, who I believe is coming to Dead by Daylight tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. This has been Bad Caterpillar. Take care, everybody. We'll see you soon.